very serious matter. A uh, young man was gunned down in uh, Florida. And the man that shot him was uh, let off. Uh, not guilty, was converted. We are out here in the community to take a stand. It's one thing to get on social networks and black out your screens, but it's another thing to get out here in the community and stand for the cause. the solution to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Trayvon ain't died for nothing. You know what I'm saying? He will be revenged through this system. This whole system been a crash. We want our own nation. Well, there you have it, Black Superman, totally on some super radical, super radical, super radical kind of stuff. But it's all good, though, man. That's why we out here, because everybody has their own opinion about what it takes to make things better in America. So you just stay tuned, because we got more interviews coming soon. It's your boy E, a.k.a. E-Mazin. We appreciate you coming out here showing support. And this is your grandson. And your great grandson. You got a great grandson. I think I thought you were like grabbing somebody, mama, or somebody. That's all good. Okay, okay. So tell me what made you come out here and support this cause when you could have been doing anything else on your weekend? Well, I've been involved with the community organizing in 1966. Okay. I started when I was 23 years old. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm a member of a black family. Okay. And I worry every day for him. I worried every day for my husband when he was driving while black and he would get put up against the car and we stopped because he was driving a cooler. Uh, this was in the 70s. And uh, then for my daughter and then for my granddaughter and now for him. Yeah. You know, it's a continuing struggle. Uh, We've got to reach some sort of understanding in this country about who we are as human beings, that we have a responsibility to one another, that this can't go on. The Republican Party is turning everything backwards. We're going back to the 19th century, and it just can't be tolerated. And every one of us must speak out. I'm 70 years old. You know, I I will be doing this until the day I die. You know, my 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 late husband, my second husband, was. Uh, was working with National Welfare Rights. He was one of the original organizers with George Wiley and Fannie Lou Hamer. So it's in our family. And uh, I just hope, I'm just so pleased to see everybody. This is like, 
the civil rights movement and the anti-war movement starting all over again because it's cross-cultural and we just can't stop. These rallies have to continue. You know what? Every day, every good, week, every good year. Good point, good point. We can't, we can't be reactive in the way that we approach these situations. We can't wait till a tragedy happens and then we all get together and then, you know, you don't hear from anybody two, three, five years, no follow-up, nothing happens. We got to continue to get together at, on a regular basis. And you know what I love about this is not a color thing. You know, it's, it's a people thing. Exactly. People need to be treated equally. And so that's why we're out here. We're glad to see you come represent. And we, you know, we love the fact that people like you and just people in general would take the time to just come out and support the cause and promote equality. These are our children. These are our children. And we need to start talking with each other among black people, among Latinos, among whites, among Asians, then with each other. We need to tell each other what it is we don't like each other. Why do we not like each other? What's the problem? What's the stereotype? And then, do you want to know how I feel about me? Black people have an op need an opportunity to say, this is how I feel about me. This is how you read me. What's up, it's your boy. You guys and I here represent with Dallas Urban Access TV. And as you can see, we out here at the Trayvon Martin Rally. You know, right here in Dallas, not Cali, right here in the hometown, baby. We got somebody right here smiling in the heat to come and promote and represent for this cause. So tell us what made you come out to the Trayvon Rally. Well, I have two sons and a daughter. And even though they're not teenagers, I know that our black boys are under attack. And I know that coming out here to represent and to be a part of this uh, great event will go down in history. My boys are college students and at Texas Southern University. And we're just grateful to be able to have an opportunity to make a difference. And know that they're not uh, stereotyped, whether they wear hoodies or they wear suits or whatever that they wear. That they are just human beings. And so we're here because of the human race most more so than anything and so we just thank you so question why do you feel it's important for your presence to be out here because I have, a, I, like I said, I'm a mother of three children, and it makes a difference when they see the parents standing when they see up. The parents, so, right? Sorry. Because my daughter told me she just graduated from Baylor University, and she told me, like, Mom, I wouldn't even come out here if you had to came, you know? And so it, 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 it's a way to initiate and, and press through and, and show our black power. All right, good, good. Power, power numbers. To the right. people. Power in numbers, girl. All power right, all numbers. right. Every, everybody counts like voting, huh? That's right. That's what's up. All we right. really appreciate you coming out. Alright, cool. Yeah. Now, right now, as we walk around the rally, I see one of the most shiniest, brightest. At first I was like, wait, wait, is that the sun? Wow now, but you know it was the, it was the reflection of the sun on this sign, what it say, justice for Trayvon Martin. Now now tell us, not only are you out here with a sign, you standing up on like a pedestal in the sun, the sun glistening off your forehead, sweat running into your eyes, and you making a sacrifice to show this sign. Tell us what is making you so dedicated to hold this sign up. Telling you when they justice what I brought up, he didn't get justice. He didn't get justice. Trayvon Martin could have been me. Yeah. All my children, yeah. or you yourself. Yeah, yeah. So this sign right here, I made it just beautiful to reflect the short life of that young man. Uh, he could have been here today with us, but um, he, he was not armed. Yeah. You know, I believe that uh, that guy, you know, kind of followed him. Yeah. And shot him. Yeah. You know, so he wasn't right. Yeah. And the jury system needs to be changed. Yes. You know, you cannot have a black man that's been killed, then you have all white jury. Oh wow. Man, come on. Oh, wow. There are black people in that city, there are white people in that city, there are Asians in that city, there are Mexicans in that city, but it's all white jury. It was all white jury. All white jury. Oh wow. You know that's not fair. Oh wow. That's not fair. They cannot they can you know they have to walk in the shoe that we're walking in yeah. to understand our plight. Yeah. So you know that's my statement right here. Wow. Well, hey, we, my statement. we appreciating that. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria originally. From Nigeria. Now, yes, now, see, that's, see, that's important yeah. because regardless of if you're from the original land or you were transported to this land, we still got to stand. You know, we got to um, stand together because we still are brown skin, dark skin people, and we got to represent for everybody, not just this person, that person, but us as a collective people. It don't matter where we're, it, it don't matter where we're born. As long as you're a black man, you yeah. are from Africa. There you go. Appreciate it. Uh -huh.